Declassified U.S. government documents and witness testimony from former or retired U.S. military personnel confirm beyond any doubt the reality of ongoing UFO incursions at nuclear weapons sites. When I say UFO, the witnesses have described these craft as disc-shaped or cylindrical-shaped or spherical. These objects are capable of both hovering and high-velocity flight, usually, usually completely silently. Over the past 37 years, I have personally located and interviewed more than 120 of these former or retired military personnel, all of whom report UFO incidents at one or more of the following locations. Nuclear missile sites, nuclear weapons storage areas, and nuclear weapons test sites in Nevada and the Pacific during the era of atomic atmospheric testing. Sometime in the evening hours on March 24th, I, I received a call from one of my t uh, top side guards, the flight security controller, stating that they had been observing strange lights in the sky, making odd maneuvers, um, and wanted to report it. Uh, I thought it was kind of a strange report, but uh, I took it seriously. Uh, you have to understand we were protecting nuclear weapons, and uh, we, uh, the reports we generally got were very professional. Uh, at any rate, uh, I kind of dismissed the call. He called back uh, about five minutes later. This time he was screaming into the phone saying uh, they're uh, looking uh, at an object, uh, a red glowing object hovering just above our front gate. Right above us, there's a huge white thing pulsating light above us, and I had to call them to make sure I wasn't seeing anything. Upon prodding, he told us it was shaped like a fat cigar. I think he said a pregnant cigar. White pulsating light between the pulsations, he saw red and, red and blue lights. Uh, it was silent, because I prodded him saying, is, is it some form of helicopter? He said, no, it's very silent. We're talking to him for several minutes, and he says it's starting to move away along our access road. I believe, these gentlemen believe, that this planet is being visited by beings from another world who, for whatever reason, have taken an interest in the nuclear arms race which began at the end of World War II. Regarding the missile shutdown incidents, my opinion, their opinion, is that whoever are aboard these craft are sending a signal to both Washington and Moscow, among others, that we are playing with fire, that the possession and threatened use of nuclear weapons potentially threatens the human race and the integrity of the planetary environment. 